Uh, welcome to all the Mini fans. I know this is uh, Dave Jaguar 66, but um, I've sold my Silver Jubilee Mini, the 25th anniversary. It's gone to live in München or Munich. And I bought this Mini Cooper 1.3 SPI, single point injection, um, in the UK. And I'm now about to restore it. It's, it looks like it's in good condition, but the subframe's bad and there's a lot of work to do on it. So I'll do it over the winter. But it goes very, very well. Uh, did a compression test yesterday. I have bought a lot of gear from Mini Spares in the UK for it and brought them back with me because it's difficult to get spares in Austria. I can get them, but they have to be DHL. Anyway, um, the heater matrix had to be replaced. So I'll basically show you what we've, what we've done. So this is the one that, uh, this, is the, this is the one that came out. And as you can see, it's, a, it's pretty disgusting to say the least. And it was dripping in the car. This is quite a common fault. And it's probably because the, the antifreeze was, wasn't the antifreeze wasn't correct, or it's just been topped up with water, and you can see it's just completely corroded away. And inside the heater box in here, you can see inside. I mean, it was absolutely manky. It was just full of gunge. Okay, so what you get with a kit with a new matrix is you get the the matrix itself. Um, so the fittings are, are, are exactly the same. You get some sponge with it here, yeah. and obviously you have to use the original pipe connections, the in and out for the for the water. Um, but what it is is <laughs> they don't come with any O-ring, so unless you have an O-ring kit like I have, you you're kind of screwed. So if you buy one of these, make sure you you get some O-rings with it. And if you look here, you can see this is an original O-ring, but you can see now it's it's flattened and what I've done is I've put new o-rings in here I'll try and do it with one hand you can see they are rounded and when they go in it's a nice it's a nice firm fit and you can see that they're in there fairly tight and then once they clamp down they're good so if you need to change your heater matrix this is the way to go um, um, you know this this corrosion problem with uh, with antifreeze. This is why I've on my Jaguar and a lot of my cars I'm changing to to this stuff, which is um, Evans Evans waterless coolant. You can see here. There's no water in this at all. No, you get no absolutely no corrosion for aluminium. 60 to 70 percent less pressure, which on a on a on a um, radiator system is really good um, and the boiling point is, is twice the downside is it's extremely expensive but it's one shot it can go in for life but um, unfortunately it won't tolerate much water only three percent so if you clean the engine out you've got to use the pre-flush but this stuff um, a lot of the guys in the Jaguar club are using it now and swear by it they can have the temperature as high as you want almost and you can still take the radiator cap off now that proves that the pressure reduction is massive anyway so uh, thanks for watching in and come, in, come back for an update when we, when we put on the on the new subframe um, it's got these uh, S-Pack arches it's a 94 uh, quite nice inside it's been sort of a lot done it's got these Cobra seats in it um, the dash. I just put this motor light steering wheel in it because I really liked it. Extremely expensive, but it looks beautiful. And um, yeah, hopefully by the end of winter when I get it turfed in in Austria, it will uh, it will be beautiful. It will be back to its old back to its old self. Anyway, thanks for watching in and bye for now. Check check it out or subscribe.